Okay, in this tutorial, we're going to focus on creating a, a floor plan that will cover all. Um, so it's an overall floor plan of the complete building. Okay, so what typically happens is if we go and look at our elevations. So I've got a series of elevations that I've set up and we've got a basic model. You'll notice that the plans step quite a lot. Okay, so what we need to do is to create an overall floor plan for the first floor and second floor, we'll need to use one of these plans here, one of these levels. I haven't made a view for every single level and you can see there's a whole lot of them. So what you could do first off is just go and create all those views. Okay, so how, you, how do you do that? Okay, you'll notice we've got a whole series of views here, um, levels. So top of top of ground, tier C5, for example, tier C4, 3, 2, and 1. Okay, so there's some missing. First thing is what you need to do is you need to go to plan view, floor plans, and you'll notice that here are all the views. Don't worry the, the undecided trust for now. We'll, dedic we'll have a look at that in a second. But in theory, here we've got an undecided trust, and here we've got another undecided trust over here. So we've got two of those. So we can actually go to floor plans, and we're going to go to floor plans. If you don't say do not duplicate existing views. If you untick that, you can duplicate any view. But in theory, you just want to recreate the ones that are missing for now. So let's grab all those, press OK. So all that it's done now, if I go to one, two, so what it'll do is that area where that level is working correctly. So let me just go back to my elevations. And let's just go back to my uh, maybe south elevation. No, I think it's west. Yeah. Um, no. East. Okay, and let's have a look at the east elevation. So now we're seeing the whole front of these facades. Okay, so now you can see that the building actually keeps stepping. So TOC 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Okay, so what you need to do is you'll need to create a floor plan that'll cover all of these scenarios, and you need to know more or less where these scenarios are happening. Okay, so I'm going to use a section over here maybe, because I also need to know what level this, this guy will be on as well. Okay, so we'll need to go and see how that all works. And let's use this as an example. Let's pull this right across as well. So at least we know what levels we're dealing with. So let me go to this section quickly. So, and I think I've used the ground floor. And, yeah, so ground floor TRC for this one. Okay. So it doesn't really matter. We just need to keep that in mind. Okay. So to create an overall plan, you need to go and find one of these that will work for the scenario. I would start with the ground floor one. I think this will work best for me. So what I'll do is I'm going to duplicate my ground floor TOC one. Duplicate view, duplicate with detailing. It'll create exactly the same view. Here I'm just going to switch off the topography. I don't want that to interfere. So I switch off the topography, press apply. Okay. That's good for now. I'm going to switch on crop because I only want to work in a, a certain area as well. So crop this. Okay, and I'll export these as DWG files as well. Okay, so let's just grab this area over here. And I'm going to switch off all the shading as well. I just want this to be hidden. I just want this as grayed out as possible. Okay, and then I'm going to switch on my crop, switch it off, and then just switch on my crop. Okay. All right, so here we've got a whole series of lines that we can now look at. But now you'll notice as the floor plans go down, you're going to start missing a whole lot of information. Okay, so I need to go and start using these different zones and understanding where these zones occur. To begin with, it's going to start off rough, but you can see in this plan, here I'm getting a lot of information, good information. So these two are kind of working. So the first thing I need to do is I need to go to view range, and here you need to make sure that it's unlimited. You want to look as far down as possible. This one I can also change to unlimited as well. Sometimes you don't want this to happen because sometimes you might see a whole lot of unnecessary information. But that's for now. I just want to enable that so I can start seeing because you can now you can see I can see my footings and those types of now I can see all my foundation. So maybe you don't want to show that. What you can do is you can just literally go to VG and you can switch off your foundations. Okay. So if you don't have a floor in an area, you're going to see the foundations. That's why. I'm seeing the foundations here because technically there's no floor slab in there. So maybe it's a good thing to have on for the time being. Just remember, you can go to VG, Visibility Graphics. 
So you can go to VG, VG, and you can go to Foundations, um, Footings. Ah, it's under Structural, so you might have to switch it on if it's not on. Okay, Structural Foundations, Structural Foundations. Okay, but I think I can switch off Structural for now because technically it's part of the same. If I switch off Structural Foundations, they would disappear. Okay, just remember if you want to show them again, you can bring them back. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my east elevation so I know where the steps occur. So these two shops are on level four, and this is yeah, so level four, level five. Okay, so it's, I kind of have a good understanding what's going on. So this whole area over here is level five, maybe to this point. Okay, up until this point over here, then that's level four, level three over here, level two. Okay, all right, so. I'm going to just close that, close that, close that, close that, because I only want my east and that. I want these two views visible the whole time. Okay, so let's close that, close that, close that, close that, close that, close that, close that. Okay, all right. Let's over here a bit. Okay. Right, so an east view. Let's make an overall floor plan. Okay, here we're going to rename this, rename and call it overall. So you're going to say rename. So you're just going to say ground floor. Okay. Ground floor overall or complete. Totally up to you. Okay, so now, now we're going to use plan regions. So we're going to use these plan regions. Okay, because you want this to display correctly the whole time. Here I'm going to start with rectangles. I'll come back and fine tune this in a minute. So I'm going to start with one there. Okay, and we're going to change this one to TOC. And that we can also just leave to first floor TOC number two. It doesn't really matter. Press apply, press OK. Okay, finish. So that's one done. We can come back and control what it views. You can put it in the central wall, but just see. You'll see when it'll start working correctly. Okay, that's working correctly. So let's create another one. Create similar. So here I've got another level, and I'm just using rectangles every time. I can come fine tune this as I need to. And um, stop over there. That's fine. View range. All you're doing is you're just making sure that this is three, and that will be TOC two. Okay. Finish. So now you're seeing you're starting to get a, uh, it's starting to work well. Okay, so we can't have overlaps, so press cancel. So here I'm going to pull this past this point. So here you just need to find a point where it will work well. So I'm going to use a line tool and I might use it. So they can't have overlaps, so I'm going to press align and I'm going to align this to this grid. So you want this to work in a good area here. And that's good. So here you can fine tune. You can leave it on depending. So maybe here I want to take some of that away. Okay. So let's just say finish. Okay. Now you're seeing you're starting to get a good view of what's going on over here. Okay. But we've used this grid line. So here I'm going to quickly go back in here and snap this to this grid line. Edit boundary. Align. That with that. Yep. And then edit this one, edit boundary, align, map with that. Okay. You just can't have overlapping. That's it, just can't have that occurring. Okay. So here you must make sure that it snaps right onto this line. Here I'm going to duplicate another one. So I know that this section here is going to be part of, so I'm going to say create similar. And it also depends on what level this toilet was created. So you might have to introduce this toilet. We'll see. Okay, but you set this up once and then it's you're good to go. Okay, just align it to your grid. That's why you want your grid in play. Align to your grid. Okay, pull this past the bathrooms. That's important. You're gonna say, if, oh, wait a minute, edit type. Here it's gonna be ground floor, top of C. So I'm gonna say here four.
Good. Now you're starting to see that this is working well. Okay, now you're starting to see all the floor plans. Okay, so that's important. You're creating an overall plan for this whole area. And I know that this whole end area is five, so that's quite easy. Okay, so while that's in play, that looks good. So there's nothing happening here that looks perfect. Okay. All right, so this is starting to come together well. You can lock these. Just remember these grid lines, you can you can hide them if need be. Okay. But it's just telling you that you've got these different floor plans working in a certain way. So here I'll need to apply another crop region. Okay. So let me just fix this one because there's something that I need to fix. So you just copy it's it's geo two three geo two three. Okay, apply. It's okay. Okay, likewise with this one. To ground floor TNC. Okay, press apply. Press apply. Okay. Okay, so we, we're technically creating overall, it's an overall plan. Okay. And this is probably where you need to work, but you'll just need to remember what areas. So, what I would strongly recommend you start doing now is using a spot elevation. Okay. So, here you're going to use the relative marker. So this one will work relative to the project base point. So at least you can start picking up changes of level as well. And I'll show you how to make these in a plan. So let me just see plan, edit type. The plan view, I actually want to make, you can make a box around. So it will make a family to work. But let's just um, symbol. I'm going to leave the symbol off for now. Okay, I think just leave it like that for now. Minus, and as you move, you'll see that the, it'll show you the difference in floor levels. So that's zero. Minus 400. Okay, so we can actually switch these dimensions off. So now you can start seeing what levels where. Okay. Yeah, well, that's good. So at least now we've got that. Now we need to create our last one. View, plan region, and we'll just create one for this whole area over here. And I will just create some line work coming up here, there, trim that with that, trim that with that, and align this. Okay. Let me pull this back. Okay. This will nudge pass because I want to see the detail. Get as close to the building as you can. You could actually follow those rules quite strictly, but now that's good for now. Okay. And then just remember, I need to change the settings, view range, so that will be um, yeah, will any work once you select this one, that's five, and that will work with five as well. Okay. Press apply. It's okay. So now we're getting all of this information. It's looking good. Now, this is the problem with how far you want to look, because now we're seeing the walls beneath. So maybe you don't want to see it as far. That's totally up to you. Okay, that does happen, especially with external walls. It's showing you the line of the wall. Okay, so there we'll have to make a plan. Sometimes you just change the view a little higher to prevent that. So let me just show you what I mean. So if I go back here and I go edit. So if I say unlimited, I'm just going to say here, press apply. We can start getting rid of that line. So if I just change that to 20, See, you don't want to see that line of the wall. Okay, it's just showing you how it's cutting into the wall. So let's just go back there again. Edit. Oh yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry. My apologies. You can leave this at zero, and you um, you can go back here and you can switch this off to and make this ten. So let's make this ten. Okay, now you can see where it's cutting. Okay. So you're not going to start seeing those um, those lines. So we just might have to see what's going on there because technically that's what you want to see. You shouldn't be seeing that other line beneath. So maybe there's something there that's on in this door. I'll need to double check what's the line of the slab. Okay. But now you see you're only getting one one line. There's a line on in this. Let me double check if there's anything on in the plan. So let's just go here. Something visible. I don't think I can see it over here. All 
All right, but there is a way that you can use crops. Anyway, well, we can address that later on. Okay. All right, but that's that's all I'm trying to do. So there's there's obviously a line in this door. I think it's the door. Let me just hide this hide and view element. And no, it's actually the floor slab. That's a shame. Okay, let me just go and try that again. So let's grab this guy. Edit view range. So here you can oh no, no, that's why. So no, that was my mistake. Select this guy, edit. So here you're just gonna say, there we go, press apply. Okay, you're gonna change this to 10 and change that to 10. Okay, let's make it a bit higher. 30, 30. Okay, there's something else in those doors we need to check. We can just make the zero, make the zero. Okay. Technically, it's doing the same thing. Okay. All right, so this is starting to work here. Yeah, there's just a problem with how the wall joins here, so that I'll need to address. So here, yeah, there's something, it's the floor slab that's gone a bit wonky. So here, we just need to say how this joins. So join that with that. And then we just need to address that. And you can also just hide the floor. Okay, so you can also just hide the floor. And you can also change that line there. So if you tab, you can change that line to invisible line. So here you can go and change it to invisible lines if you don't want to see it. So that's another trick that we have up our sleeve. Because here we got it again, but it's the, it's the line of the slabs. So here we just, it's showing you the actual line of the slab. Okay. Right, so, but you want to show that line on the outside. You can go and overwrite those lines as well. So it's totally up to you. It's just showing you where the door is. Okay, but now we've got an overall plan. So here, let's just go and look and see what level this is. Because maybe this will work on level two. That works with level one, ground floor level one. So here we can just go to Okay, but our overall view, we don't have to actually change much because now it's working correctly. So if we go overall, this should read correctly. Is that? Oh, I think I've made a mistake. That should be level three. Okay, that's better. So it was actually me that made a mistake. So here you're going to go to overall, and here I'm something to go to view. Um, you can leave the rest like this because that's fine. This is I need to overwrite. So view, plan region, and now I just need to go and remember. Okay. So now, in theory, I've got an overall plan that I can use. Okay. All right, so now we've got an overall plan that we can now use in this location. Okay, everything looks um, documented correctly. The windows are in place. Okay, so this is starting to read well. Here, here there's a slight issue between here and here. And let's double check what's going on here. That's five. That should be working. Why isn't that working? Double check what's going on here. The step might occur in here. So I've got a feeling that the step actually occurs. Yeah, I think the shop had two finished floor levels. It did. So there was a finished floor level in there. Okay. So let's just do this. So this, edit boundary, trim, that did that. Finish. And then this level carried on up until, okay, let me just do that again. Click here, edit boundary, and I'm going to say align to that point there. Remove constraints, finish. Okay, now that's correct. Okay, so now we're getting the correct display for this plan. Okay, fine tune. We could technically align it, but that's fine. So I'm getting the correct detail. And then these, if you go to VG and we go to annotation and we go to levels and you go to um, 
plan regions and you can switch those off press apply okay you can switch them off so you don't see the screen lines you want to but now you can see they're not cluttering your view for an over, overall plan. Okay, so this is probably where you're going to generate your floor plans. And you can go and work on those areas in isolation where you're getting this correct information. So you just need to remember where these zones are. I'd actually make crop these views to work in those zones where we've got a level three, for example. Okay, so that's, that's totally up to you. Just remember that if we go to this elevation, that I've created an overall plan of the ground floor in essence. Okay, so this is an overall ground floor. And you can see all the windows cut correctly. Okay, so that's working well. I'll repeat the exercise for the first floor. The first floor, however, is a lot easier. So if we go to first floor um, and switch off underlay. So here you just want to switch off your underlay. You don't want to see anything beneath this view. So Okay, so that's finished floor for that area. So here, let's go to finish floor one. Okay, so here you just want to switch off your under place. I'm going to say none. Okay. Change of view range. I don't want to see. So here, I'm going to just change this to tie in with your associated level. Press apply. Okay, so you're not seeing through the building. Press OK. Okay. All right. Okay. Close that view. 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 So what I'm going to do here very quickly, I'm going to change this to fine, and I'm just go to um, hidden and change my view range. By default, you want your view range to be 1,500. Okay, and you want to change this to to 800 or to 600 okay I'd set that just to have a look at a much better range okay okay while well, these walls read just see it's existing so let's just check I think I've overridden so here control a all I'm going to say clear overrides. So here I'm going to click here and say clear overrides. So it clears all overrides, clear overrides. Okay. Okay. So this is all existing. All of this is existing. Okay. Now all I need to do is I need to create a, a plan region showing this area over here. So in this view. So I'm going to duplicate this. Duplicate. Duplicate view as detailing. Okay. And here I'm going to call this rename. I'm going to call this first floor okay first floor overall great switch on my crop Okay, so we're going to do exactly the same process here. Plan, plan region, rectangle, and I'll use this area over here. Okay, and I'm going to lock it up until this point over here. There, pull this back there to there. Okay, and I'm going to make sure that the same settings are applied. Edit view range. Okay, so this is all this is going to change to is finish floor TOC2, finish floor TO, uh, TOC2, everything, press apply, press OK. Okay, finish. So now we've got some overall plans over here, and we've got some overall plans over here. Okay, so just one thing I have noticed in here, let me just make sure it all looks good. No, this is looking good. Okay, so everything is working well here. Okay, so these windows are fine. That's all good. Just these double doors. All I've noticed is that these are mullion. These mullions just must be switched off. Deletes. Okay, I must just double check what's going on there. 
So those are actually, they've got a ammonia. Okay. Okay, and let's just double check what's going on there. But that's easy to fix. Yeah, there, I can see it straight away. Okay, so it's just got those mullions that I need to get rid of. But technically, that just should have been... Uncheck. Uh, double check that one. Uncheck. Delete. Okay, so this door I need to fix. Okay, so that door I'm going to have to show you guys how to fix if you're going to keep those double doors. Okay, because it's splitting that curtain wall up incorrectly. Okay, that should just be a double door. Yeah, strange. Okay, anyway, but that's easy to fix. Okay. Anyway, so that's, you've got your overall first plans, first floor plans, and you've got your overall uh, ground floor plans. And you can see we're using this point here. Yes, there's a slight error over here. So technically, I want to take that pass to there. Okay, so this is causing a bit of a problem here, this wall, the way it joins. And I think that's got to do with how we're viewing the wall. So here, you might have to use a fold region to fix that, or what you can do here is, edit and then we can just pull in a an exclusion zone where it won't sorry just uh, use the split tool split trim okay there we go fixed okay good okay now the last thing that we've got to do now is we can now export this just remember switch this on you just want to see that information that's good okay now delete the views and those type of things that you don't want to see in this view switch this information off it's not required okay so let's just pull this back a bit more Okay, great. So we've got our overall plan sorted. Switch that off. That's working good. Now, I'll just switch off all the elevation and section markers. You can leave them on if need be, but the ones that you're not going to use for the time being, just switch them all off. For the time being, just for this exercise, I'm just going to go to um, View, sorry, VG, Annotation Objects, and I'm just going to switch them off for the time being. Sections and Elevations. Okay, the grids I'll leave on. Okay, but now at least now I've got an overall floor plan and I've got an overall ground floor plan. You can work in these views, just remember you need to put those references on so you know how the changes in level occur between the different areas. Okay, because here we've got a step, for example. But now you can see this reads as one plan. Okay, so if you are going to work in these, just remember you'll need to drop things to the correct level. So if you are going to work in this area, you can go to architecture set and you can set the work plane to a different work plane if need be in that area okay and you can also use a tag to tell you what what one you're, you're referencing okay you can also do that as well so you know what area you're working in so here you can actually drop these in so that you know let me just see if it can reference the the plan that it is It'll pick up the okay but you might have to use some notes or a plan that will tell you but yeah you can clearly see the difference between so this change in level change in level that same then drops down to okay all right okay so that's how you're going to go and create your overall plans okay